This is the solution to written homework 65. <clears throat> okay. So, part A. Um, okay. So, what we want to do is we want to factor f. So, f of x is, if I factor 4 out of the numerator, that would be x minus 5 over 4. And if I factor 2 out of the denominator, that would be 2 multiplied by x plus 3. And we have vertical asymptotes, the candidates for VA for vertical asymptotes. are zeros in the denominator. Well, because we factored f, uh, you can see that the only candidate is x is negative 3. So now then the question is, is it in fact a vertical asymptote or is it not? So what we need to check is we need to check, check the multiplicity in the numerator. So the multiplicity of negative 3 in the numerator is 0, because x plus 3 is not one of the factors up there. And the multiplicity in the denominator is 1. Taking these two together, the fact that 1 is more than 0 means that yes, this is in fact a VA. So x is negative 3 is a VA. So I'll go ahead and plot that here. So one, two, three. Okay. B. Find all horizontal asymptotes. So now uh, <clears throat> you can see that F is degree one. So F is degree let's try, let's try that again. F is degree one over degree one <coughs> and therefore yes it has a vertical it has a horizontal asymptote of y is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So that'd be four over two, which is two. So that's a horizontal asymptote. So I'll go ahead and plot that. Okay. We want to sketch, uh, sketch this function. Okay. Well. Uh, let's plot uh, a couple points to try and figure out um, where f is. So I'll plot, uh, say, an x value to the left of the asymptote and one to the right. So how about when x is negative 4? When x is negative 4, plug in negative 4, uh, that would be negative 16 minus 5, so that'd be negative 21, and then divide by uh, negative uh, 8 plus 6 is negative 2, so negative 2, so that would be 10.5. Okay, so that means that at negative 4, we're at 10.5, so there's a point up here, so uh, that's 2, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, point 5, right there. Okay, and plugging in, say, 0, x is 0, uh, that would be negative 5 over 6. Negative 5 over 6, and that's a little bit less than negative 1. 
uh, no, sorry, it's a little, a little bit more than negative one. So negative zero point eight three repeating. So that is about right here. So plotting this. <coughs> Just a sketch, really. <clears throat> That's what the function looks like. So, part D, the sketch passes the horizontal line test because every horizontal line crosses the red zero or one times and therefore f is invertible and so e let's compute the inverse function the inverse function is uh, so I'll write y is 4x minus 5 over 2x plus 6. So now I'll swap x's and y's. x is 4y minus 5 over 2y plus 6. <laughs> Uh, now I'll multiply both sides by the denominator of the right-hand side. So 2y plus 6 multiplied by x is 4y minus 5. So 2xy plus 6x is equal to 4y minus 5. So now, uh, there's four terms in this equation, 1, 2, 3, 4. Some of them have a y and some do not. So I'm going to collect all the y's together. So 2xy minus 4y, and then get all the things without y together. <clears throat> okay, so that one stayed. This one. This one went over here. This one stayed. This one went over there. And so now on the left hand side, there's a common factor of y. And I'll factor it out on the right to get 2x minus 4 multiplied by y is negative 6x minus 5. So y is negative 6x minus 5 divide by 2x minus 4, which is to say that f inverse is that expression, negative 6x minus 5 over 2x minus 4. So, I'd like to point out something that hopefully will be obvious when you think about it. This inverse function, notice when you plug in 2, you get a 0. And it is going to be a vertical asymptote because this y is 2 was a horizontal asymptote. So when you perform this operation of function inversion, you flip across x, y is x. So this horizontal asymptote becomes a vertical asymptote. And <clears throat> there will be a horizontal asymptote for the inverse function of negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. So this vertical asymptote of x is negative 3 is going to become a horizontal asymptote of y is negative.